Tell us how you feel today. Oh, can't go over. I can't go over. Oh, oh bless him. I can go back at mummy. It's all a bit much, isn't it? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. I've done wonderful. Hello. Oh, dear. Can we really have it? No. I don't know. Are you happy? I can't. Yeah, yeah. I'm like so overwhelmed. Them, what everyone's done, you know. Yeah. Right, you know. I'll probably never be out to thank them out of one. But you know, we do appreciate everything that they've done, you know. But um but um as you can see she's um, <laughs> she's loving it. I know it's a whole Is this the first time she's seen all these animals? Sorry? First time she's seen all these animals. Yes. Yeah, we've been in lockdown. Where we've been in lockdown and obviously where she's not been great, I can't take her nowhere. So she's not really seen anything, to be honest. But, um, you know, it's all right. You can't have the horse. <laughs> From the retreat animal rescue in High Horden, in Kent. In Kent, um, I was tagged in a post by my friend Samantha um, about the little girl and that she loves cows, and we happen to have three adorable calves. So we've decided to bring them to show her, and we've brought some bottles with us so she can feed them. See them being fed anyway. Yeah, or see them being fed. Um, yeah, but they're beautiful creatures. We're just a group of parents um, who know Terry and Ava and Henley Joe from school. We heard the sad news um, about what was going on, and we just wanted to do what we could for the family. So we rallied round, we've raised nearly £2,000 now. Um, so share, 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 because yeah. we're not quite there yet. We're, the more the better, and the generosity of strangers like. Um, 
Sue Osprey for donating yeah. suits, yeah. Wellgate Farm, yeah. Liz, everyone that's, that's shown their kindness <laughs> um, and made <laughs> this day special for Ava. That's all we wanted to do. Hi, I'm Darren Rodwell, I'm leader of Buck and Dagman Council. I'm at Holgate Road because of uh, Ava and what's happened here by the community. The great thing about Buck and Dagman is people put us down, but no one can put down such a great community. In a week, they've managed to come together, bring these costumes, bring Wellgate Farm, the police, to show that actually one life is so important, and that's young Ava. You know, she's not had the best start. Half of her life, she's been in lockdown. But I've seen her smiling, I've seen her absolutely in, in awe with the horses, and now she's going to meet the calves. So to anyone, this is what Barkin and Dagnum's about. It's about making something special for a little girl that needs it. Because you know what, in her short life, it's been really tough. But we, together, will make it better for her and her family. What's a cow do? Look at the cow! She's stroking nice! Is she nice and fluffy? Nice! Good girl! Oh, look at this! Here's Nick Amy's badger, and this is Abby, who desperately wants her milk. Oh, look! Mummy, do you that? Yep. We come down today, we obviously worked with the Heron Daily before and, and had some inter interactions with some young people. Um, so we were aware that Ava was looking to get a cow. Uh, initially we weren't able to facilitate that, but I reached out to some of our colleagues in the, in the Mountain Branch, who when they heard of Ava's story were more than willing to come and assist, as they always are. So we managed to get some of our colleagues from Mountain Branch to come down with some horses. And if we can do something to put a little smile on, on Ava's face for a while, why not? Why not? I, I think it's absolutely fantastic, you know, the important thing is people were outside, they did stick to the social distancing rules. Um, I'm hoping that people will understand why people turned up today and done this and we'll, and we'll take that into account. Uh, she's a fantastic little lady and if anyone would begrudge seeing a little smile on that face, I think you'd be hard pressed.